Okay, we're going to go through the video on how to set up payroll once you've decided to order it. Of course, we have several different payroll options. If you're going to use payroll through QuickBooks, you know, you've got basic, enhanced, assisted, uh, the old version of complete, all these different types of payroll. <clears throat> so first things first, after you order your payroll, either from Intuit or from a uh, ISP like ourselves or, um, you know, Office Depot, you're going to get a 16-digit payroll uh, service key. So what you're going to do is go up here under employee and payroll and enter your payroll service key. Everything in payroll is tied to your federal tax ID number. Okay. Now if this federal tax ID number does not match yours, you can go up to company and your company information screen here. And that's where you enter your payroll tax ID number. That's where it's going to be pulling from or your employer tax ID number. Okay, so that matches all right, and I'm going to go ahead and add a payroll service key. And my service key, of course, this is going to be a fake service key. So I'm going to say next. Okay, it says you're about to manually add your payroll subscription. Do you want to add it to this machine? Yes. Okay, and it's going to download my tax tables. So notice it starts to do all my updates, bringing all the payroll tax information in to my file automatically <clears throat> and then it's telling me I should probably restart my software so that all of the payroll updates take place accordingly so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here and I'm going to restart my file but that is how you enter your payroll service key.